What's going on GW Nation? This is Leo Guild Wars bringing you the sixth episode of Weekly Guild Wars News. And today we're just going to talk about many new things. We're going to talk about the new rewards for account achievements, the Bazaar of Four Winds event expected July 9th, and the confirmed no expansion for Guild Wars 2. And we're going to talk about much more. Just stay tuned and watch the whole episode. First things first, we're going to cover the Bazaar of Four Winds event expected July 9th. And this is going to probably happen right after the Sky Pirate event. So stay tuned and this is going to be an awesome event. So first you're going to be able to expect new rewards such as the Aspect Back Piece item. And this comes in either Sun, Wind or Lightning. And how you achieve this is you're going to participate in an event. If you complete it, you'll be able to get this back piece item. And also you'll be able to get the Zephyr Sanctum model, which is meta achievement. So if you complete a certain amount of achievement points in that event, you'll be able to get this in your achievement tab. In conjunction with this whole event, they're going to release or implement this new account achievement system and this allows you to get awesome rewards for you know your account achievement and this is account bound so it doesn't matter whichever character you use you will be able to get the achievements and they come with exclusive armor and weapon skins such as radiant armor hellfire armor and the zenith weapon set which is pretty awesome we got a couple of screenshots provided by arena net and there's going to be Permanent account bonuses such as permanent magic find for the whole account. So this implementation is just amazing. This is what you guys have been waiting for. Obviously the currency is still the same. Gold, gems, karma, and laurels. There's going to be new PvP rewards, skins, and glory boosters. World vs. World rewards. Utility items, unique titles, and much more. July 9th is going to be the awesome turning point for Guild Wars 2. Now the second news I really want to bring to your attention is there's probably going to be no expansion for Guild Wars 2 because of their new promise which is releasing new content for every two weeks which is a pretty huge promise and also commented by ArenaNet's lead content designer, Mike Zdorogin. He said, so right now we're not really looking at expansions as an option, Zdorogin told Eurogamer. It's something that's on the table, but it's not something we're focusing on because what we want to do is our idea here is with Living World, we can do what expansions would have done, but do it more on a regular basis. If we do this right, he continued, we will probably never do an expansion and everything will probably be going into this Living World strategy. So as they said, if the Living Story World strategy does become successful, there's probably very minuscule chance of an expansion happening for Guild Wars 2. The third thing I'm going to cover is are you one in a million? And basically Guild Wars 2 is trying to gain awareness from any gamer out there and they're trying to gain 1 million likes on Facebook. Now, this does come with rewards. There will be a special achievement that you will get if you like the page, a communal boost bonfire provided to boost to karma gain, experience gain, or magic find to you and your friends, a communal boost for 24 hours of 200% magic find and coins for kills, and three fireworks so just tell your friends and like them on Facebook this is gonna be an awesome great thing Guild Wars 2 is trying to you know get everyone involved and finally just a little quick bonus there are new data mined items such as the mini deck so I don't know the uses for these but just bear with it and there's gonna be perfect salvage kits this was in beta I'm not sure if it's just leftover data or they're planning to implement it soon in the future because they are making lots of money from the black line salvage kit so I'm not sure if they're gonna implement this perfect salvage kit because it sounds pretty OP. Alright, Leo Guild Wars over now.